I became a vascular surgeon because that was the part of general surgery training I liked the most. Most of general surgery is uh, taking things out and not so much fixing things, but in vascular surgery you spend most of the time fixing things. So you have multiple different ways that you can fix one problem and so it has a little artistic uh, license uh, for a general surgeon so that's why I went into vascular. I was trained in a generation that was before the endovascular revolution. Endovascular is doing so many things with wires and catheters and minimally invasive. My years of training, we did almost everything open. And so vascular surgeons that do things open have to make big incisions, do things maximally invasive. And so that's really my area of expertise. I've had a lot of experience with open, complex, abdominal vascular problems of aneurysms, mesenteric bypasses, renal artery bypasses, and things like that. Much of what I do now is uh, what's called a, a spine exposure surgeon or spinal access surgeon. We don't make any decisions about how to treat the spine. Uh, the spine surgeons make those decisions, but when they decide they need to fuse somebody, take out the disc, put something in there that, that turns it into a big, big block of bone and, and uh, solve their problem that way, they can fuse people from behind, from the side, and from the front. If they go from the front, it's a great way to do it because you can get all of that disc out in a big, um, a much bigger implant in from the front that leads to a better fusion. However, they need somebody that's expert in abdominal operations, all the abdominal organs, how to get there from a couple of different places, but most importantly it's the big blood vessels uh, that are sitting right on top of the spine that have to be mobilized and protected during the spinal fusion process and so that's where vascular surgeons come in. So we are exposing the spine for them by mobilizing the big blood vessels and protecting them. I think one of the most rewarding things about what vascular surgeons do is that we see people that are really hurting, they have a major problem, and if we don't act quickly and successfully, they lose their life, they have devastating stroke and the consequences thereof, or they lose limbs and long-term uh, disability. And so we can, um, we can affect somebody really quickly uh, with what we do. 